you serious? Are you serious? Again, we're talking age of the Antichrist. And we have some information. The breaking news coming out of India, of course, is that India Central Bank has declared that linking the national ID number of each individual to bank accounts is now mandatory. So it is a mandatory deal. Each uh, individual has to uh, link their national ID number to their bank account. India Central Bank said this yesterday. They dismissed media reports that it was not necessary to link the national identity card numbers known uh, for your bank accounts. It said in a statement that requirement remained in force under anti-money laundering rules. The Reserve Bank clarifies that in the applicable cases, linkage of the number, your ID number, to the bank account is mandatory under the Prevention of Money Laundering Maintenance of Records, Second Amendment Rules of 2017. The RBI also said that the anti-money laundering rules announced in June of 2017 have statutory force and banks have to implement them without awaiting further instructions. Um, This is the world's largest biometric identity card program It has triggered some claims that it is an infringement upon the privacy of its citizens of India. India's top court, though, said in August uh, that the privacy is a fundamental right and that the verdict was expected to complicate the efforts of the Prime Minister Modi's government to make linking of the national ID card, a biometric card at that, with your bank accounts telephone numbers, and et cetera. Folks, here we go. They're preparing you for the mark of the beast. Read your Bible in the book of Revelation, chapter 13. You'll see where that is mandatory, according to the beast system, that without the mark, you cannot buy or sell. I'll read it for you. Revelation 13 talks about the, the beast, the Antichrist, the false prophet, all of them part of this one world government, this new world order. And here's what it says in Revelation 13, 15. And he had power, okay, verse 14, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. That's the Antichrist. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as it would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he caused all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And so this is biometric. And that no man might buy or sell save he had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. And here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six, or six, six, six. Now what we're dealing with here is a biometric system in India that is mandatory that you have a national ID card that is biometric linking your identity to your bank account. Without this identity system, you cannot use your bank. And without having a bank to operate out of, you cannot buy or sell. And so there's, this is, I mean, I'm not saying that India is implementing the mark of the beast, but they certainly, it's moving, the whole world is moving to biometric national identity uh, requirements to buy or sell and to bank, okay, and to operate in this world. So look out, here we go. You're going to see more and more and more of this now. And the technology will continue to increase quickly now, swiftly now, as we're in the age of the Antichrist. Uh, between these two solar eclipses, this seven years, you're going to see unbelievable movement in every area 
one world government movement. You'll see uh, some type of movement calling for a world leader. You're going to see a false prophet emerge heavily at some point. And in other words, calling for it. You're going to see uh, the mark system being perfected. Uh, you're going to watch. Uh, the, there'll be a call to UN uh, for one world governance. It won't happen, I don't believe, in this seven-year period. But certain, the Antichrist is certainly moving forward to the front of the line. We are in the age of the Antichrist. We're going to talk about it tonight. You don't want to miss tonight's live broadcast. It starts at 7 p.m. Eastern. That's 7 p.m. Eastern, live at my website at paulbegleyprophecy.com. Also, I'll be live everywhere else, including this YouTube channel. God bless.